Hi, it's Rob from Ohio Radon Systems. Uh, today we're going to show you in this video um, some diagnostic testing that we normally use uh, to determine the correct radon fan size and the correct number of suction points. A little bit of background about this home that was built in 1977. Two-story home. Uh, this was sold for a real estate transaction. Uh, home inspector tested the home and the average radon concentration during a 48-hour test was 40 picoliters definitely above the action level of four. What we're going to show you here, we've decided where we want to locate our system, quarter a five inch hole through the basement floor. Um, one of the things that's going to help us with this system is we landed our suction hole right on top of the perimeter drainage tile that goes around the entire perimeter of this basement on the inside of the foundation. One of the negative things that we found, the soil content that we dug up is a mixture of pea gravel and dirt. We'd like to find clean, crisp gravel, but the age of this home was right around the cutoff when builders weren't really using uh, the proper amount or the proper size of gravel below the basement floors. Take you to the other side of the basement here. Here's our sump crock. Where you can see that perimeter drainage tile where it enters right here. And right to the left of it here, we've drilled a small little test hole through the slab. And I'll show you the other test hole here at the other corner of the basement. And here's our other test hole here. Um, basically what we have here is a micro manometer that measures airflow below the slab. And without any fan on this system, we're at, eh, right around negative two. Um, so there is a negative airflow in this corner of the basement, that's good. Um, but what we're going to show you is Jason's going to go back over to the suction hole. And he's actually going to turn on the radon fan. Some people use a shop vac or a vacuum cleaner for this. Um, we have three different fans that we stock. We'll test this with all three different fans. And whichever we get the best numbers at the test hole, that's the fan that we'll use for the system. Okay, so our fan's on. I'll take you back over to the test hole. And you're going to see a dramatic change in the numbers. So with the fan running, we're zero, negative 014. Quite a big change from the negative 002 that we had without the fan running. We're going to take our tube out of here. I'll show you something very interesting with that fan running and landing the suction hole right on the uh, perimeter drainage tile. We'll stick the manometer right in, I'll show you without. So just sitting here in the basement, we're right around zero. And as soon as I stick this tube in this pipe, we immediately go to negative 0 024 is the highest reading that we got even 46 so we're definitely extending our pressure field around the entire basement here that's one of the most important things when you're mitigating a home to determine the number of suction points how far you're extending your pressure field what type of fan you use and what size piping 